All right, guys, I'm excited to show you guys this one. This is the Certina DS2. It is a chronograph. It is a quartz chronograph. And straight up, this is the coolest quartz chronograph I've ever handled. And I would love to see a reissue of these. Bring them back. There's nothing like this out as far as I can tell. It's, uh, it's an amazing watch. So... Big thanks to Chad, otherwise known as CCG, on my private Discord group for allowing me to check this out. And I know I've had it for a little too long now, but I'm finally getting around to do the video and I want to get it out to you guys. Unfortunately, I have some seriously bad news. These came out in 2013. They're long gone. You can still kind of find some different variants of it. But there's my two favorite from the colorways that I've seen so far, which I've only seen this one in hand, but is this guy, this guy here with the anthracite dial. And then there's another one that's like a two-tone, uh, I think a blog to watch or a couple other places I've done videos on them. But it's more of a white dial with a colored sub dials and a pop of red. That one's a limited edition 125th anniversary. And I really want one of those. So if you have one of those, the 125th anniversary one, Email me. I want it. That is a sick one. This one is probably my second favorite, though. So um, let's get into some specs. We're looking at a 41 millimeter watch, a 50 lug to lug. You can see the bracelet does not inhibit that. 13 millimeter thick. That's including a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating. 21 millimeter lug width bracelet tapering down to 19. Some of these come on rubber straps and not bracelets. I do really like the bracelet, despite the fact that it has a butterfly clasp. It has a split pin design for the links, super easy to size up. It has the turtle on the case back, that means it is um, double whatever. That's like a Certino thing, basically means that it is water resistant and shock resistant. Okay, that, that was just a little power outage. Don't worry about it, we got a windstorm going on. We're gonna carry on. So. Um, like I said, these, these 2013, they're already gone, guys, I'm sorry to say, but this is using a special quartz movement in here, and it has some tricks up its sleeve. One is there's two hands for the chronograph. One is at 1 100th, and then the other one's your standard one second counter. That's only going to do that for a minute, and then that top hand's going to stop moving, but it'll keep going with the other chronograph. Has other subdials there keeping track of your minutes, your hours, and then of course your running seconds down there at six, interrupted by a date window at the six. It's using the ETA 251-264AA. I know it's a mouthful. I'm going to put a link so you can check out that movement. I would love to see other watches with this movement, or rather just Certina just come out with this watch again. I know you guys are listening to me, but these were about $1,000, and I think it's worth every pen, penny of that. Um, you know, on the gray markets and everything, I'm sure these were picked up for about $300, and at $300, guys, we were stealing them at $300. This is easily a $1,000 watch. You can see that top hand stopped, and the bottom one keeps going on that register. 27 joules in this quartz movement. 27 joules in a quartz chronograph movement. These are temperature compensated. The anniversary one is actually COSC. Not this one, but the anniversary one is accurate to plus minus 10 seconds per year. That's how good these movements are. And even the, the non, like this movement is still like phenomenal. You can see beautiful anthracite dial, nice sub registers. And then you have a nice hand stack on there, nice polishing, brushing. Everything's just great on this. Tachometer, aluminum ring on the outside of the case there. I, I don't know what to say. I'm super excited about this watch. I'm hunting for one, guys. They're not easy to find. The only one I can find, and they're probably going to run out after you guys watch this video and go get them, is like a black dial one with like green accents. I found one on eBay with a bracelet for a reasonable price in Canada, and then I found some on Joma Shop for just over $300, but on the rubber strap. It's a fitted rubber strap, and I think that would be a really good option, but I want one on bracelet. All right, so when you stop that, and then you reset it, it swings all back. Or you can do laps and stuff like that. 
Now the other trick up its sleeve is if you pop the crown, it's a non-screw down crown, if I can get underneath it, if you pop it out one, one spot, it does that little spinny thing, but then, oh, I, do, I went too far, that's the, that's the time setting, I'm trying to go one spot. If you go one spot, it actually has a jump hour quick set, and that is actually how you set the date as well. So you can go see how it rolled 15 to 16 and then back. So that is how you set the date as well. And then if you're traveling with this, which it has anti-magnetic properties and everything, the way they sealed up this watch is phenomenal. Like seriously, go read up on it. I'll put a couple links in the description so you guys can read up on it. I'm not gonna go in too in detail on it. But this watch, I think was, I think the people that know, know, and the ones that didn't, they just maybe dismissed it and underappreciated it. But this was an absolute gem when it was out. And it still is. You just can't find the darn things. So the movement alone on Esslinger, when you could buy the movement, I don't think you can even buy the movements anymore, were, were like $140, which is a lot of money for a quartz movement. But this is not a regular quartz movement. It's a super quartz movement is literally how it's labeled. All right, guys, let's kill the lights so you can check the loom. It does have loom. It's not crazy. You did actually get a little sneak peek of it when I had that little power burst there. Um, but there is the loom, a nice cool blue loom to it. Uh, you don't expect a ton of loom on these anyway, but it is there and it does look good. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next bid.